this is uh, just a little word of warning. This is going to be a bit of a rant. So, if you're easily offended by bad language, um, I would just turn this video off right now. Go on, bugger off, piss off, because there's going to be a lot of bad language in this. Because I'm a little bit upset, got my rum and coke, and my comfort food. So, I'm going to let you know why I'm upset. Um, I'm not that upset, but I thought I'd make a little inspirational video to turn the half full empty glass into a half full glass in true positive American spirit. So this video is about my iPhone, which um, I bought off a very nice gentleman, not as Borat would say. Actually, it's not his fault. The person I bought it off is my, my fault. Basically, what's happened is this iPhone has become bricked. Therefore, the iPhone can now be used as a hat. You could use it as a bow tie, a very nice bow tie. You try and shove it up your nose or up your bottom if you uh, are into that kind of thing. That's about the only use this iPhone has right now. Probably I can sell it for parts for maybe a hundred bucks. Who knows? But anyway, this is an iPhone 3GS and I have bricked it, meaning I have rendered it useless. Uh, I can do fuck all with this phone right now. Um, and if I am able to do something with this phone, if you think I can, then send me a comment down below. But I'm pretty sure that this phone is bricked. I've just been to the Apple store. They can't do anything. They offered to sell me a new one because it's out of warranty. So let me tell you how I bricked it and how you can go about not bricking your phone if you want to uh, jailbreak it and unlock it. Alright, a couple of basics first. Okay, so T-Mobile re released statistics, excuse me, it's my second uh, gin and brandy, rum and coke. Uh, T-Mobile released statistics saying that there are a million people who have jailbroken and unlocked their iPhone 3s, I presume, 3Gs, 3GSs, and um, they're running on their network. So that means there is a million people who have done what I've done. Um, Obviously, better than what I have done. Um, what it means is, let's go over some, some concepts quickly. You probably know this if you're watching this video, but anyway, just for anyone who's a noob, a noob, a newbie, whatever the uh, hell you want to be known as, excuse me, um, there's two things you hear about jailbreaking, unlocking. Jailbreaking allows you to put, uh, allows you to install programs on your phone, your iPhone that Apple don't approve. In other words, right now when you buy a, when you get programs uh, on your phone, if it's not being jailbroken, you have to get your programs through the iTunes store. This allows you to put programs on there um, that Apple doesn't approve. Having jailbroken your phone, you then will install a uh, program, a little add-in thingy, that will unlock. Now unlock means to be able to use this phone on any GSM cellular network in the United States or Germany. Uh, it has to be um, GSM just because that's the standard this phone, iPhone 3GS uses. So there we have it. Uh, jailbreak, put any piece of software on the phone, unlock means run it on the network. Those are the two things you have to do in order to get your phone to uh, be able to use, to, to be able to use it with uh, T-Mobile, which I was trying to do with this. Right, I've just finished my uh, brandy. I keep on saying that. Rum and Coke. So now, <clears throat> I want to introduce two other concepts. One is the baseband, the other one is the operating system. So this little phone, essentially, is really two parts. You've got the part that's the computer, uh, and then you have the part which is the cell phone. So the computer part um, requires an operating system just like when you have a Mac or a PC you have you know Windows 7 or OS 10, Lion, Leopard, Snow Leopard, blah blah blah, Mountain Lion, whatever. So you have on your phone you have, I, uh, on the iPhone you have iOS it's called and it's iOS 5 or iOS 4 so that's one thing you have. A second thing now this is what this is what screwed me up is you have firmware um, and basically this firmware which is software um, is code and this code runs the cell phone part 
of the phone and I think obviously the iOS can um, uh, interface with the software as well or whatever but there's a separate software okay called um, it's called your baseband or your firmware okay so those are the two another two concepts I've introduced so you have jailbreaking unlocking firmware and iOS okay so let's get down to what happened why is this thing a brick? Why is it a hat, a bow tie, or an enema? There's this somewhat complicated matrix of, whoops, of the year that your phone was manufactured. This phone was manufactured in 2011. The operating system, the iOS it's running, and the baseband. So there's these three kind of variables. And it sounds very complicated. It's actually not really. So. What happens? What happened in this case is my phone was manufactured in 2011. When you go and do your jailbreak, okay, so it was manufactured in 2011, had iOS 5.01 or whatever it was, and it had its baseband 5.16. Da 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 da. Basically, with those three things, the manufacture date, the iOS, and the baseband, this phone essentially was not able to be unlocked impossible um, simply because people found that this particular phone the iPhone 3GS manufactured after a certain date they changed the baseband chip they changed the cellular modem in there so the unlocks they were using before basically fucked up the phone totally fucked up the phone, Wi-Fi, everything, just fucked up everything and made it like this phone is now. Having said that, I have an identical phone manufactured in 2010, but also this phone, there's a little caveat with this particular phone with the GPS. So when you do the jailbreak on this particular phone and the unlock, you can do it, but you lose the GPS if you have a very new iOS, like this one had iOS 5. Basically, to cut a long story short, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, which I thought I did, because I've unlocked about five or six of these phones before, you've got to be really, really careful with any phone, I want to say, manufactured in 2011. Any iPhone 3GS in 2011, I would say forget about it. I'm not sure about the four S's, um, but, you know, this is, this is not rocket science. It's all being documented. And when you do the jailbreak, they say, if you have da 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 serial number da 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 um, you can tell what, what week your phone was manufactured by looking at the serial number on your phone, and, and it's in the SIM card slot over here. They say, do not do this upgrade to the baseband. Um, and I did, and that's why it's fucked up. So, let me next tell you what you can do um, when you, if you want to buy a phone and unlock it and how you can not end up bricking it like me. I apologize for this long fucking rant here, but anyway, hopefully we can learn from my mistakes. Um, first of all, when you go and meet with a guy in the subway or the, you know, uh, Burger King, get the dude to pull the phone out and if the phone's just sitting in, you know, um, with a little iTunes symbol and a little cable, no, 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 no. You want to see the phone fully functional and working. Get the cat to fucking put the SIM card in the top. Get him to make a call. Hopefully you have a phone now. Make a call. See the call quality. Get the guy to make a call, or the gal, to make a call physically with the phone to see with and obviously with your T-Mobile SIM card to see that the phone is indeed unlocked. Um, I bought one on eBay. The thing was totally fine. Actually, the GPS worked fine. I bought this one on Craigslist. The girl was, she wasn't about unlocking. I bought it. Then I realized the GPS gets screwed up. I don't care. I'm willing to live with that. So um, it seems like I'm on the slippery slope here of like iPhone, um, you know, screwing these phones up. The last one I bought was this one. This one's totally, like I said before, is screwed up. So when I bought this one, the sometimes and also the second thing you have to know, get the guy to put the simple. Second thing, whatever people tell you, it's a lot of old cock. I had one guy. He sold me a phone. He's a big unlocker here in Boulder. 
oh yeah, 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 the phone's fine, da 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 da. Guy gave me the phone, I went home, and I noticed the phone kept on losing signal. I mean, the thing would lose signal, I mean, it was on and off like a, you know, vicar in the choir boy, like a prom dress. The, the signal was up and down, up and down, all the way driving home. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on with this? It just turns out there was some weird thing that with that particular phone. I luckily managed to get the guy and, you know, he gave me money back. Um, the guy convinced me that the GPS signal, uh, the, the guy convinced me that with, with that particular phone, the GPS signal would work. Um, and it's not, it's bullshit, it's screw. Basically, when you, when you unlock some of these phones with, the, with certain baseband's, you lose your GPS functionality. Um, and what happens is you end up using the cellular assisted GPS functionality. Um, and he convinced me, no, 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 you, your GPS chip's still fine. No, no, no. This is the one thing when you do the, the, these unlocks on some of these newer phones with the newer software, you'll lose the GPS and that's something you have to live with. Um, the second guy, the guy I bought this phone from, I said, hey dude, you, this phone is not able, you're not able to unlock it. It was my own fault. I bought it from him. I should have done my homework. I didn't put my SIM card in it. The thing was, it was jail. This phone was jailbroken when I bought it, but it wasn't unlocked. So that was another little thing. And this guy, I'm sure this guy knew, you know. Anyway, it's, you know, I'm not one of these guys to go running and crying. You know, we're fucking masters of our own destiny. We don't do our homework. We, we deserve this shit. And, you know, I bought this phone and th that's how it is. I'm, I'm not going to sue the guy or do whatever. That's just how it is. But the guy, I think he knew that the phone couldn't be unlocked. You know, he was a software guy and da 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 he, You know, he just played dumb or whatever. So, you know, do your homework, people. When you meet someone, especially when you meet someone in a, in a Burger King or whatever, get out a T-Mobile SIM card, um, throw it in or get them to throw in a T-Mobile SIM card, make a call to your phone, listen to it, see if it's working. It not, even if the phone is jailbroken, it has to be unlocked. This phone was jailbroken, working perfectly, but it wasn't unlocked, so I couldn't test okay, it. Okay, another thing, if you want to um, uh, unlock your phone, um, use it on T-Mobile, there is tons of clever, clever people, a lot more clever than especially myself, or your dumbass, a lot cleverer than you and I. Um, you can go and... I must say, the information is, there's there's a lot of misinformation out there about this unlocking. There's a lot of things that people say, oh, I can do this, I can do that, and, and there's actually a lot of bullshit out there. Um, and I, I think, I'm not sure if people honestly bullshit, or just because it's somewhat complicated because you have this matrix of iOS, baseband, what you can unlock, what happens, da 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 da. I think it's more that at least that's my opinion, the people who are just blatant bullshitters. There are some blatant bullshitters that say, oh look, I can unlock this baseband, da 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 da. In the meantime, they've actually bought an unlocked phone from unlocked phone from Apple, therefore they can do anything with their phone. So one place you can do, you can, if you're trying to buy something off Craigslist, speak to the guy and say, ask what the operating system is, the iOS, and what the firmware is. And you go to settings about I think it's settings and about, and it, there's a list there. The very top is the firmware, the very top is the um, operating system, and the, the, the bottom is the firmware. Then go to this website, it's called iClarified. So go to this um, iClarified website, and they have an unlock wizard. And it basically allows you to select, you select your phone, the 3GS, I'm um, doing this now, and then it says, what baseband do you have? So I select my baseband, 51602. And then if I'd been doing my fucking homework, I would have seen, and then it tells you, okay, please select your current firmware to continue. Okay, so in other words, it's not really firmware, this is your iOS. And as you can see there, in my particular case, there's no iOS 5. So even if I had iOS 4, I could select it. And it says, um, do you have Windows or Mac OS? 10, I go on OS 10, it tells me there's no unlock for your phone. So that's something you can do. Um, so, so, you know, it's like anything in life. You do the work yourself, you save a lot of money, or you pay and someone else does the work for you. So you decide what you want to do. Um, I got a nice 
um, unlocked 3GS, I think it was just an 8 gig, over Christmas on uh, eBay. It was unlocked, uh, jailbroken, and the GPS worked because the guy hadn't basically updated it. It was an older phone, and it worked perfectly. Um, and I, I actually paid quite a lot. I think I paid about $220 for it on eBay, and it was only an 8 gig one. So you're going to pay more for the unlocked ones. Even the 3GS is now still going for like $250 unlocked. It's kind of crazy. Well, in my case, I paid $250, and um, the thing wasn't even unlocked properly. But I had a 32 gig. So you are going to pay... You know, push comes to shove, you know, um, you could always get a three, you can actually get an unlocked 3GS from um, uh, from the Apple store for like, I think $300 or something, or maybe it's $370. Um, and I, I'll tell you why that might be a good idea for you. You might say, wait a minute, I can get a 4GS for, I can get an iPhone 4S for like nine, uh, 199 bucks, and I can do this, and da 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 Contract, my dear sir, contract. So even though this is a fuck up, uh, GPS on this is a fuck up, um, I don't have a contract. I pay uh, 12 times three, um, I pay $360, uh, $360 a year for my cell phone. Um, if you sign a contract, yeah, you have a 4S, but you're paying at least a hundred bucks a month when you add the data plan and this. Okay, I don't have data, but I have data on my iPad. So I'm not comparing apples to oranges here. What I'm saying is you, you save a shitload of money if you're on a budget and you just want a cell phone by getting an unlocked cell phone. So you know what? Twelve hundred what what did I say? Yeah, twelve hundred dollars a year? I mean you can afford to buy a couple of brick a couple of phones. I mean that that's how crazy it is how much money you're gonna save if you just want a cell phone. Um you can't buy a smartphone and have a $30 a month um, plan. Okay, there's these Sprint plans and these Sprint phones and uh, maybe Android phones. I don't know. I've, I've looked at some of those and I don't know whether the reception's very good and the phones are kind of crappy and stuff. So so anyway, so you're still, you're still going to save money. Even if you brick a phone or two, you're still going to save money by paying 30 bucks a month for this. So it is still worth it. I'm looking on the bright side here. Um, of course, if you don't want to do all this shit, go to the store. Sign a contract, two years, get an iPhone 4S, get a Nexus, blah, 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 whatever those phones are, that, you know, they're, they're like this big, those phones. You know, get one of those massive phones, be done with it. Um, but if you want to learn something, if you want to, if you like to kind of dick around, it, it, it's fun. This unlocking stuff is fun. Um, there you have it. That's my take. Thanks for listening. Cheers.